Here we are about to put together our centre case and our girders. Uh, you can see here I've got one of the sides of the centre case and um, I've taken out uh, this 260 in the middle. I've taken that down about one millimetre. Um, the way I've done that is basically just taken off the, uh, the top uh, layer of veneer which gives you a good guide uh, all over. And uh, did that by cutting down the, the veneer with the uh, sharp knife and just using a series of planes and I've got a shoulder plane takes it up nicely to the side so that's that and um, as you can see the base of it has been cut over for the curve and we've done that off my jig we have our transom here station 4 3 2 1 in the bowel as you can see in here I've boxed out where the centre case itself is going to go so this is the top of it and these are the sides so now it's just actually a matter of getting our girders that we've cut off our templates pushing them hard up against those stops I've previously shaped the bottom of these and they nicely slot in so one from the other side goes in Basically, we can place our top on. Top sitting squarely on, and as you can see, I've uh, previously drilled these and uh, had it all lined up and screwed together. Um, the only thing I'm going to do now is that I will uh, actually use a roundover bit to round over the edge here, and also all the exposed part of the girder um, back here to station number four, and as well as this little bit on the forward pit here by station number two. Um, because those will be exposed in the cockpit, you want them nicely rounded over, be a bit easier on your feet. Also holds the finish, you know, the paint or varnish, however you're going to finish it, um, a lot better onto a rounded surface than it does onto a sharp one. And now see I've uh, rounded over, it's just burnt a little bit there, that's what you can see. But uh, it's nice rounded over the edge, coming up into here and rounded over the edge of here as well. So this is all ready to put together, so what we'll do is we'll glue these parts together, I'll then pop it off the jig and we'll put our other side on. As we do this we'll um, put unthickened epoxy just over the middle of the centre case on both pieces, that way um, that'll get the sort of the first uh, coat of that on um, because we need to keep the water away from that part of the wood also a part that's going to take a bit of abrasion so we'll put another coat on as well once we've got it assembled. Right, I've now glued this up and I've just put the top on and I thought I'd show you this so you get the idea of what you're looking at with the glue. You can see down here just that narrow squeeze out of glue that I've got all the way down the side there. So that's what you're looking at. If you're not getting that much squeeze out coming out from when you um, put it together then you probably haven't got enough glue in there in that joint. Okay, so um, in fact we can see from under here we're not getting any squeeze out. And I don't think that's actually a glue problem. It's basically just the uh, screw. We're not getting enough screw pressure, so I'll back off that screw. We'll have another go at it. There we go. You now see a nice squeeze out. I've, all I did there was basically back out that screw that I had in the top and put it back in again. Um, we can see a little bit of squeeze out happening inside that we'll just need to clear up as well and then uh, it's ready to go on the boat